Okay, magandang umaga sa aking mga kapamilya. <laughs> so we're small family, so I will make it very a sharing like to a family. <laughs> so okay. Um, Entity CHP share the vision of UP system and UP Manila, of course. And that will be the mission, the vision of being able to, to be the great UP Manila Center, especially taking leadership leadership role in the development of our globally competitive Philippines in the area of health professions education. And based on our national expenditure program as presented in 2015, basically our mission it would be along this particular direction. Academic excellence and operational excellence, strong research and creative capability, excellent faculty and staff, high visibility and effective public service, modernized facilities and technological structures, gaining strong support of alumni and produce the best and the brightest students from across the country, prepared for successful careers and responsive citizenship. My presentation is basically based on this particular particular mission, although I will not be going through all of them, just to highlight some major points that I um, put together uh, for this particular presentation. Hopefully a uh, more detailed presentation will be presented to the incoming dean, and we know that already, who is the <laughs> incoming dean. But in terms of this particular academic excellence, uh, as an entity, see, we are expected to have, to, as an HPE, utilizing innovations and technologies for HP and developed by entities, HP faculty, staff, and students. Uh, at this particular point, we are very proud to say that NTTC is actually the leading institution. We're small but terrible in relation to the use of information technology. Um, actually, 100% of our courses with online components. So we co if you go to the UP virtual learning environment, you have their CAMP, CAS, C CD, CM. If you go click the NTTC, you will probably see a lot of courses available on available for our students. So we're proud of that. Sabi natin na kahit ka may combination of millennials at saka sub-millennials. <laughs> uh, sabi ka hapon, para sa daw kami lahat millennials. Magkakaiba lang na millennium. <laughs> so, <laughs> sabi, so, but basically, um, we have been inspiring other colleges that in, in one hour of session, one hour of session, our faculty actually was able to already develop their courses. And it is continuing in that particular sense. Um, we have been utilizing innovations, basically, in terms of uh, our online, for example, our online teaching. Here we have here the, a cut of Mel Flores inter uh, monthly seminar last week, uh, last month, which is available on YouTube and, of course, the stream via Facebook Live. And we also have an NTTC official, um, what you call it, Facebook page that stream online live our presentations, especially in our monthly seminar. Although now we have to be very careful because global, the global community is attacking Facebook for the breach of data security. And apparently it would appear that Trump won because of Facebook. We don't know if in the Philippines the same thing happened. Uh, the thing is, we were able to do that in online lectures, but we also have to look into the reality that NTTC, as shown in this particular video, has been doing online thesis defense and live lectures. So nakita nyo, we are, I didn't put the sound here, but we have an online defenser with Mel Fleur here. Uh, we have Erlin. I'm also there. Um, recording, but you see the panel in Cambodia, uh, they're discussing basically the panel plus the Philippine panel, discussing the, 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 the thesis of our student final presentation, and we would like to be happy, to, we ha we're happy to say that we were able to graduate several of our Cambodian students through this mode. So they don't have, we don't have to go to Cambodia, but we have initial before some thesis defense proposal in Cambodia, but eventually doing this. So we're maximize maximizing innovation in that particular sense. We also included as part of a major innovation, the Health Expo that was started by our college secretary. We have here, and it's getting to be, getting more followers. 
um, it's a big opportunity we convert this classroom into an HP ed. The thing is, all you need will be a very creative faculty member and just a supporting dean. <laughs> so we call that. We also have introduced innovations, including the use of technology. So NTTC basically purchased clinical teaching um, materials to be used for simulations. Kasi nanghihiram kami sa ibang college. We like say, we want to teach how to perform clinical procedures. So now we're doing our own. So we have this intravenous, for example, and we also have this particular model available for us uh, that cost us uh, almost a million um, to purchase. But this is now being a very good simulation for the use of technology in, uh, in basically in enhancing our teaching. Um, we also develop our own interactive innovations. Like for myself, I develop some interactive learning tools where teachers can basically formulate um, several outcome statements using the interactive software that I develop for faculty members and is already available actually through, through the VLE soft, uh, platform. Um, one of the plan before was to offer many uh, of offering of online mini courses in HP Ed. But we did not do that, and it did not happen, but basically we have a better alternative. We're actually able to provide academic offered MHP Ed in blending mode. So you have here our students from Cebu. Uh, huh? They're watching. Hello, mayong buntag sa inyong tanan. Basically, you notice, so we have here our students in Cebu. Most, all the students are there. And basically, we are now offering our MHP Ed program. We have more students in Cebu than in Manila, correct? Not necessarily. The active, more active, right? So we have two sections in Cebu. We're going into what we call a a um, ladderized program, ladderized program. So hopefully by this June, all of them will graduate the basic course. And hopefully their dean will force them to continue with the diploma in master's in health profession said. And in two years' time, we'll be able to have, hopefully, if at least even 80% of them to graduate MHP ed, then that will be a big achievement for all of us. And of course, they are already starting the discussion on opening their own MHP ed. So by the time they graduate, we will also get out of Cebu and then probably the program in Cebu will continue on its own path, okay? So that's basically one of the areas we're working into. To support these innovations, we have, of course, modernized our physical facilities and much maximized use of technology in teaching. As you see, we have several purchases amounting to several, almost, as I said, together, it's about two million equipment so that we will be able to provide the technology available for all of us to prepare our faculty members for this technology and innovation. We have new camcorders, we have new big screen television, and of course we, did, we purchased several uh, high-end and high-speed big capacity laptops so that it can be used by our faculty and our staff in relation to technology and innovation. Okay, that's in the area of one area in academic excellence is supposed to be CHED's official recognition of NTTC as Center of Excellence for HPN. Of course, it's still a dream, but we realized that we cannot be CHED Center of Excellence un unless we are PASCO accredited. So the most important prerequisite is PASCO accreditation. And not even a PASCO accreditation level one. It will have to be a PASCO accreditation level three. And you can just imagine, so I think our focus now, I think, with our very strong relationship with one of the major personality in PASCO, hopefully the incoming dean will be able to iron out how we can be, be accredited at the PASCO level. Initial negotiation, of course, we realized that there is no PASCO, PASCO, what you call it, accreditation set criteria, what they call protocol, for evaluating a, health, a master's in health professions education. So, sabi mo kang, pero kung tutusin, actually we're the ones supposed to be provided out that. So, hopefully we will be able to provide that. So, but, in lieu of that, 
we are receiving other type or other recognitions. For example, early this year, APMC recognized Entity CHP in its contribution to medical education. So we, Mel Flor, me, and uh, Erlin there received the plaque of, uh, what do you call it, recognition during the, is it the 50th anniversary? 50th anniversary of the Association of Philippine Medical Colleges. You have to remember that APMC is a major partner of NTTC. Um, I think lahat atang OB, OBE workshop ngayon ay <laughs> nirara ng NTTC beloved faculty members sa uh, si Mel Flor at of course si Erlin. Um, nakikita nyo ang mga kasabay natin dyan ay mga DOH, DOST, meron pang Korean Embassy, meron pang other national professional organizations and we're so glad that NTTC is basically part of that particular recognition. Uh, sa totoo talaga tayo ay nagkakaroon ng impact sa mga societies at sa major organization. Okay. Offering of at least one international course in SPED. Um, hindi ko na trabaho yan, but basically, we do have some simulations for that. Sa totoo lang, we are doing international courses on individually. Uh, last January, for example, I conducted a training of trainers for the Ministry of Health of Cambodia. Um, that will be on, on training trainers for to transfer cancer, cancer skills to other grassroots workers in the field, not necessarily at the national level. Uh, um, but of course, uh, on one side, ang atin pong early in ay pastol po ng mga interns <laughs> ng WHO. So it basically, it's a multinational group of interns uh, that we have a sh they have short-term agreement for performance of work with the World Health Organization, Western Pacific, to design continuing professional education program for interns and volunteers. In a way, this is a combination of so many people. And for example, lec uh, Melflor lectured on performance assessment and documentation for the country service unit of the WHO. Kung titignan natin, medyo hindi kami nagkakaroon ng formal international courses, but we do are doing a lot of international courses individually. Ang hindi pa namin nagagawa ay doing it together as, a, as an institutional level. Hopefully, we, we will... I will be able, we will be able to do that, okay? We also want our uh, alumni as active participants in NTTC HP, HP advocacy and in the several conferences, for example, we have active members of our family there at a national conference uh, held at the GT Toyota Asian Center, UP Diliman. Nakita natin yung picture dyan. And very active po yung ating mga Studiante, and of course, even our faculty members of UP Manila are actively participating in our workshops. At minsan naman, we're trying to mobilize our mem our graduates to be able to perform some of the, part the uh, as facilitators. Alimbawa sa GE workshop o mga workshop ng UP, kadalasang minumobilize namin yung mga graduates ng NTTC, kung kulang yung NTTC graduates. Hopefully nga sinasabi namin na baka yung HP HP20, yung aming GE program, will be taught by MHP at graduates in respective college para hindi na pupunta sa amin. Halimbawa, maraming camp na nag-HP20 dito. Imbis na mag-HP20 yan, natin mga magigiting na HP at experts ng camp ang magbibigay ng ating, uh, what you call it, magbibigay na ng HP20 para nagka-concentrate na yung mga entities na iilan <laughs> sa, sa ating uh, programs. Okay. Generated support fund for HPA advocacy work. Of course, um, hindi ko na kailangan ng picture dyan. Yun lamang sabihin natin. We have as our major partner, the Corazon Gonzalez Memorial Foundation, as our major partner is a very strong message enough. Actually, our faculty members and staff receive um, additional incentive at the end of the year for their performance, and that is provided for by the Corazon P. Gonzalez Memorial Foundation. If you're wondering we're getting our honorarium for guests during the monthly seminar, that is provided by the Corazon P. Gonzalez Memorial Foundation. So I would like to acknowledge the president, Erlin, <laughs> and that 
tre treasurer pa, Mel? <laughs> treasurer, Mel Floor, and of course, Ma'am Tess, secretary. Huh? Yeah, sec nandito po yung CPG Foundation. Isa po namin yang, meron po kaming maliit na foundation. Pero napakalaki po ng contribution sa amin in relation to other sourcing, no? Uh, especially for training. So, maraming salamat, Quezon uh, P. Gonzalez Foundation. We hope you will continue and support our officers <laughs> and our new dig. Tayling naman uli yun. Uh, ang liit li talaga natin, parang... Kaya ito, to, ano lang to ay ang ating presentation. Uh, minimum of one published article for his faculty member. Sa totoo naman, uh, kahit pa paano, ayan, tignan natin. Sabi ng PBB, wala raw kaming mga research. Pero yan, dami ko nga inilista dyan. Nakapost doon sa PBB. Uh, actually, for the last two PBBs, meron naman kami. Only this time, medyo kinapost kami sa research. But basically, we are doing, uh, uh, we are doing uh, our best to produce research. And I, I would like to thank the head of the research unit Si Professor Sana for really encouraging our faculty na produce, produce. Kung si Duterte ay build, build, build. Iba si, ano, iba si Erlin. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, siya yung aming uh, pagpupush dyan to the point na kilalang kilala na ng cherry blossom. <laughs> Bakit kayo nandito? Magsusulat kayo ng research, ano? Ayan, kasi parang alam na ng cherry blossom yung... Because we're trying to really create that supportive atmosphere so that our faculty will eventually move to the next level of their appointment. Of course, as, uh, on the personal note, I'm also working with the Journal of Medical Education for the Taiwan Association of Medical Educators uh, as a member of the editorial consultant for International Consultancy Committee and have produced also one um, original article for that particular journal. So in one way... Um, Marami rin kaming pinuproduce at that particular level. I, but we hope we will be able to produce more. Yung aming isang major producer, unfortunately, ay naka leave of absence. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yung aming pinaka-prolific producer, ayun, nandun sa US. Aha? Uh ha? -huh? Huh? Yeah, he's still writing. Yan. Actually, kung mabi... Kung kasama lang sa Argao yung mga lista niya, di kompleto kami. Di ba? One major requirement, it will have to be Argao. Ano? So, ang dami niyang researches. But basically, we're trying our best. So, yan. Faculty and staff development. Uh, nais namin ipagmalaki na lahat kami na, 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 kailang, uh, na pwedeng mag-avail ng 1UP ay nakapag-1UP. Of course, sabi ni Erlyn, muntik na magpurnada. Mag Hindi mapapurnada. But basically, medyo yumamang kami ng ilan daang libo ngayong January, February because of the one UP. Ibig sabihin yan, our faculty members were able to maintain the required excellence required of the one UP. Ah, uh, iba? <laughs> si Aying actually is also a recipient of one UP. Hindi na, because of his uh, because of his libo. Ba, I'm Uh, gusto rin namin ipaalam sa inyo na tatlong membro ng pamilya namin ang nag-PPHD. Yan. Uh, katatapos lang ng mag-compre ni Betsay, kinlame na namin, sabi nga ng mga, ano, sa mga, iba, sa mga church group, let's claim it. <laughs> We claim that Betsay passed the board, the comprehensive exam. Uh, diba? Let's claim it. So, so starting at uh, This semester, next semester, nagsisimula na siyang magsulat. At ibig sabihin, nung dadami na yung aming research output. Kasi bawat chapter, isang publication yon. Hindi <laughs> ba ka na uh, Of course, we have also Nina, who is doing her PhD also in the same area, uh, educational evaluation. Uh, PhD siya medyo na lang. Pitik-pitik muna. Dahan-dahan lang. <laughs> okay. And of course, I'm also doing my second semester of Doctor of Public Ad administration, uh, hoping to learn more about governance uh, and run as governor of Romblon next up, upon retirement. <laughs> Maka lumago ang aming tourism at uh, mabili na yung aming hindi na binibiling marble. Ayan. So basically, may, may ganun kami mga ano, mas, in, di ba? wala na kasi yung marble namin, ginain na ng granite. Mas, ma mas madaling mabenta yung granite. So, 
But I remember NTTC family went to Romblon for a three-day uh, staff development and meeting, and it was really, we owned the whole place. During that time, the Pauso Tourism. Yeah. In terms of linkages, establish formal relationship with partners. Uh, for example, just recently together, we witnessed part of the witness the signing of a memorandum of agreement in recognition of our, uh, actually it's a UP agreement, UP and DO8, uh, UP Department of Education agreement um, to deliver what we call an online course for the deaf ed teachers, 700,000 of them on child abuse, recognizing child abuse. Um, so what, what we offered is basically to provide the technical support for it to be delivered together with, and then the content area would be developed by our partner child protection unit. We still a major partner in a lot of things. Actually, Erlin and Melflor is also very actively involved in the training on, especially for doctors on the four hours. Um, but we also have signed an agreement with the two major institutions in Cebu, CIM, um, CIM and TINMA. Yun pong ating master's program, ako yun po yung nag-iisip, ang ating pong master's program sa Cebu, ang sagot ng entity si doon ay yung faculty members at yung puyat ng faculty members. Pero sagot po ng TINMA at CIM ay yung ating allowance at transportation expenses. But of course, you have to realize that actually we only, actually ngayon lang natin na-imagine na, 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 na napakahirap pala kasi hindi na ata kami nakabiyahe doon na hindi kami nadidelay. So yung aming original na dapat makauwi kami sa bahay ng 9, minsan inaabot kami ng 1 a.m. And that's the sacrifice that we have to, to, to provide or to give in order to make sure that we'll be able to graduate our students in Cebu and contribute the to the development of HP ed, strengthening of HP ed in Eastern, Western, Central, and Mindanao, Visayas. No? Ibig sabihin, ganun na yung perspective natin. So meron tayong ganong, at one point nga, papunta ko dito, meron akong kailangan gawin. Sabi nung aming mga estudyante, Duk, ma'am, i-dismiss mo na ang class kasi ang traffic, traffic, Cebu Day. Nung January, parang charter day ng Cebu. Paglabas ko talagang hindi, suma, hindi umaandar yung traffic. As in, nandun ang mga sasakyan nakatigil sa harap ng CIM. Sa so, tingin ko may mga, may mga training din yung mga habal-habal sa facial expression mo eh. Nakatayo-tayo ako doon, pegutin ko, biglang lumampit. Mukhang kailangan mo ng motorsiklo ah. <laughs> so, I did not look for a uh, 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 habal-habal. Yung habal-habal lumapit, may extra akong may extra akong helmet. Gusto mo ihatid kita sa airport. Tapos nag-negosasyon kami. Kasi I was also so ano, kasi anxious na. Kasi parang in an, uh, on two hours, my flight will be leaving. And you know, the, 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 the Cebu. Ano. So sumakay ako sa motor na yon. Pinicturean ko pa, pinos ko sa aming core site. <laughs> Tapos I was able to reach the airport in 45 minutes. Pero lahat ng estudyante ko parang, bakit ka sumakay? Napaka-delikado yan. Di ba? Parang ganon. But that's part of the things we have to things we have to do to be able to make sure that we will be in Cebu. Ang isa po, po nating agreement, kung nakikita nyo mga agreements natin ngayon ay mostly recognizing entities area of expertise in online and digital learning. So meron tayong just sign a MOA with Basically, on telehealth to help technically yung kanilang silang naglalagay sa IMS na meron silang course ngayon para sa mga municipal health office. And I was so happy, isa sa mga municipal health office ay sa Romblon to train yung mga nurses sa local how to recognize hearing hearing problems. Ang online course na yun ay IMS. Actually, hindi ko naman inaano yung courses. Sila lang ang gumagawa and we're producing that kind of... So... One of the last major things that we have to do as an institution is produce the best and the brightest students from across the country prepared for successful careers and responsive citizenship. Uh, kung makapapansin nyo, mm, dati, di natin napupuno yung page. Ngayon, kung titignan natin yung page ng ating graduation program, dalawang page na po tayo. 
Ayan. Ibig sabihin, we are producing more students. Our faculty members are really forcing their, what do you call it, their advices to really produce. Except me, I'm not forcing enough. But basically, kaya nandito itong mga advices nandito ngayon. Uh, 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 kaya kayo nandito para mag-graduate, di ba? Ayan, nandito sila. Kaya, so, nakikita natin. So, we're actually very proud of that particular event. Kung titignan natin, titignan ko natin uh, sa ating event, dumami yung ating mga studyante. And we would like to thank the, to, we would like to thank the push of our college secretary na Balik natin yung ating talagang mandate na we, we actually, we were actually <laughs> mandated to deliver it, to deliver it in relation to the ladderized program. Kasi ang nangyayari sa amin, pag naka-MHPed ka, aatras ka na lang ng diploma. diploma. Ngayon ko nag-i-statistics si Betsay, paano yun? Nagsimula silang MHPed. Ang gumagraduate, diploma. Parang hindi nagmamatch yung statistics. Di ba parang, saan mo kinuha yun? Tapos iba yung matching mo. So, then we realized, uh, after reviewing, after the faculty together reviewed the courses, we realized that our original mandate is ladderized. So, ang ginawa natin, wala na pong papasok na MHPN. Lahat sila papasok na uh, basic course in health profession said. Kaya maganda dito, dumadami yung nakakatapos. Kasi nakakatapos sila ng BSP ed. Hindi sila nabibilang na drop or attrition ng MHP ed. So gumanda yung aming graduation rate no? in terms of that. Pag gusto pa nila, tutuloy sila sa diploma. Yun ang hinaantay namin sa Cebu kasi marami rin, marami rin to. There are about 38 of them. ba? Diba? Although may mga nag-drop na na ilan because of some practice reasons. But if we will be able to deliver them uh, this year for more than 30 of them, we, all, we will already have a new entrance of diplo diploma in Cebu. But to be about that particular number. So basically, kaya napakita nyo, dumadami ang graduation. Kaya, because of that, meron tayong isang napakabagong event na nangyari, makasaysayan. Ito yon for the first time, nagkaroon tayo ng, anong tawag natin? Recognition Day. Oo, wala po taming recognition day dati. Kami lang po ay nagkikita-kita sa graduation. But we, because we now have several graduates, meron na po, yung mga hindi po naka, what you call it, hindi naka, what you call it, sablay, yun po yung ating mga basic course. Yung mga may sablay po natin diploma. <laughs> may sablay. <laughs> wala po silang sablay. <laughs> wala po silang sablay na suot. Pero wala po silang sublime na grade. <laughs> so basically, makikita natin na nandyan. Uh, kaya sabi nga ni Betsy, naku sayang. Pinaplano ko pa naman yung Manila Pavilion. Nasunog. So, uh, so magkahanap na lang kami ng bagong venue. Uh, actually, we also have the venue yung, ano nga ba yung dyan sa, yung dito sa UN. Jade Vine, di ba yun? Para kaming may kasalan. First time feeling namin para kaming mga nasa kasalan. Uh, kasi hindi talaga namin namimit. And it was, alam mo, doon ko nakita kung gaano sila ka-excited. Dala yung mga pamilya. Ito, matatanda na ito. May apo na yung iba. Ha? Matatanda na yung iba. May mga apo na, puti na buhok. Pero parang kita mo, parang, parang graduation ulit. Ngayon ko na-realize, mahalaga ito. So, hopefully this semester, this June, we will have another one of this and we will become part of a tradition. And that's basically the major evidence that NTTC, despite its size, it is growing. We may not be growing in people the size of our office. We may not be growing in terms of faculty and staff. But we're growing in terms of our children. We're growing in terms of our contribution to HP Ed. And I will end up with this, and on behalf of my administrative staff, thank you everyone for the support. I will surely miss my small office with a glass, but I already talked to Mel Floor, please reserve your table for me. <laughs> and uh, ang siguro kina ano ko lang ay um, maliit nga kami, pero sabi nga namin sa mga consultation the other day, we are very small. 
although meron siyang, sabi nga nila, meron siyang mga strengths, our smallness provides us opportunity to encounter more, to meet each other more often, not necessarily informal meeting, but of course, I don't call that meet, meeting more often. Kaya yung ginawa namin nung Christmas vacation, ay Christmas um, activity, yung aming t-shirt ay pinggan at saka kutsara. Kasi if there will be no formal meeting, there will always be the kitchen where we will be meeting. And you can imagine the Filipino family. Kasi sabi nila, kaya humihina yung ating pamilya kasi hindi na tayo nagkumakain ng sabay. Ngayon, uh, Kaya medyo malakas ang pamilya kasi kahit papano, sabay-sabay kaming kumakain sa maliit namin. Um, minsan nga, ang problema namin, uh, ang problema namin, hindi kami makakain kasi nakikisaw-saw pa itong mga students. Uh, nauunahan kami sa pwesto uh, because we don't have lounge for them. And hopefully, sinabi ni Chancellor, pag nagawa yung library na eight stories, Baka bigyan daw kami na, eh, tama ba? Eight stories ba? Twelve stories. Pinatagdagan ni Presidente ng two more stories. Ah, di ba? I don't know if the, all the stories will be fulfilled. <laughs> but basically, uh, hopefully we'll be able to, to be getting that particular uh, particular slot so that magkaroon tayo ng isa. Um, isa sana nating pinangako ay talaga mabuksan yung ating interactive unit dito yung ating modern inform uh, modern model of how to utilize our information technology for teaching unfortunately uh, maraming event na nangyari dito sa building na to na naapektuhan tayo hindi natapos yung ibalim dahil hindi matapos yon hindi makalipat yung nandun sa gumagamit sa atin para magawa naman yung atin so basically Nung matapos yun, hindi pa pala kami uunahin. Uunahin pa yung isa pang opisina. Kami pinakahuling uh, utatapusin. Uh, but we guarantee you that the funds are there. And hopefully by the end of this year, Mel Floor will inaugurate a new... Uh, yeah, yeah, di ba? Uh, inaugurate a new information technology office there. Essay mo na ako doon, ha? Yeah, <laughs> may pakiusap pa eh. So, ganun yung ating gawin doon. So, kasi personally, I would like to... To go into the, the new direction of information technology, mohan na in lab na ako ron. So hopefully, um, I will strengthen more my energy, my my skill in that particular area, and be able to provide more service. Ano pa sa sabi ko dapat? Pasalamat nga pa sa sabi ko. No? Salamat sa mga faculty for being ano. Ayaw, for being my mother. Yun mga mother lahat yan eh. Alam mo, ako, ako yung matanda na minsan I need to be babied by the, by the mothers. Um, they will be, no, well, kailangan magpapamiting. Ayan ang aming pamilya. Subu subukan mong gawin sa ibang college yan. Din, kailangan magpapamiting. Bakit sino ka? Fired ka, ha? Fired. <laughs> dito sa amin, ay sorry, hindi pala ako nagpamiting. And that basically, that, that, ganun kami ka close sa family, na. No? Uh, kaya ngayon parang, hi, wala nang magsasabi sa akin, huwag kang magpapamiting. Ang problema ko ngayon, ang tasabihin sa akin, ba't di ko maatin ng meeting? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yun ang sasabihin sa akin. Mahihirapan na ako magbigay ng rason. Um, and of course, um, isa pa yung uh, sabihin natin na hindi talaga nag, kahit kami HP ed, and we know that we have that competency, we never stop making sure that our HP and competency continue to, will continue to develop. Uh, hindi kami kampante doon kasi ah, kahit ako, tagal ko na dyan naman, pag dumaatin ako ng ibang conference, biglang may hihinging iba. Parang hindi ko na uli nabasa yan. Meron na palang bagong ganitong development. Meron pala sa early in TPAC. Ano ba yan? Hindi ko naiintindihan. Kailangan kong basa-basahin yan. So there are challenges coming our way from various institutions that we partner with. And there's no way for us not to update ourselves in this area. So hopefully, ganun din ang feeling ng ating mga estudyante, hindi magtatapos yung inyong. Uh, at sa mga staff, of course, um, maliit din yung aming staff. Um, meron kami mga ilang problema. Natural lang naman yan, di ba? Kung ako nga, may maliit din lang yung mga anak ko, dalawa lang, nagkakaproblema pa kami, di ba? Ibig sabihin, there will always be that kind of uh, interaction But we always 
recognize that each of us will have our own limitations, our own concerns. Ang, ang hinihingi ko lang siguro ay ibigay natin yung ating buong suporta sa, kung, sa dadating natin bagong din. Uh, we cannot move forward if the faculty will continue to just be, to con if the faculty will continue to move forward and the support staff around will not be able to provide the same. Kasi kailangan natin ng ganong direction. Uh, um, hindi naman siguro, huwag uh, sabihin, ma ma mabigat na hingin na lahat tayo ay magtulungan. Palakasin natin ang ating maliit na kolehiyo At kasi sa bawat paglago, pagkilala sa kolehiyo ng NTTC, bahagi tayo lahat sa pagkilalang yon Hindi ko masasabi sa sarili ko na ako'y iniimbita na kilala dahil ako'y sinemwell. Pero dahil ako ay isang taga-NTTC. Parang isang estudyante ko kahapon, nag discuss kami, Dok Nay, mamatin ako sa isang workshop. Ang facilitator, yung bang nang gulo sa ating workshop. <laughs> Parang doon ko namin na-realize na sana NTTC nagpatakbo ng workshop. Kasi doon namin na-realize na lalong gumulo yung aming pag-intindi ng OBE. <laughs> Matapos na umatin kami ng workshop na nagbayad pa kami. Uh, ibig ko sabihin, tinitingnan tayo sa ganong perspective. And we have to be ready for, for that. And to be ready for that, it's not only the faculty, the whole system will have to, to be ready for that. So, yung mga staff, we try to provide you, of course, at this particular point, um, sorry na lang, medyo hindi tayo na PBB. Uh, at least for two years, we have PBB. Sabi ko na lang, mag-design na lang tayo ng workshop para mabigyan natin ng income yung ating mga staff additional to cover for the PBB. Uh, kaya naman natin yan. At sa huli, um, uh, by the way, naalala ko lang nung Pasko kasi. Naalala ko yung sinabi ko nung Pasko. Para tayo nakasuot ng superhero. Nakasuperhero kami. Alam mo, si Bechay, ang suot niya ay Hindi ko alam kung anong, anong nakain niya, nak nakayanan niyang magsuot ng ganon. Ano? Saturna. <laughs> Kita mo, Saturna. Alam mo naman, si Saturna medyo payat yun, no? Ano uh, <laughs> 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 yung costume? Na na si Bese ba nanalo? <laughs> Saturna. Sabi sa amin, lahat kami superhero. Pero sabi ko nga sa mga staff doon sa mga Paskong yun, um, With all the with all the problems we are facing as a small institution, with all the limitations that we are basically in, that are basically in front of us, with all the calls in front of us, ibig sabihin sa dami ng gustong humiram ng faculty natin para sa UP lang parang ano kami? Parang wala atang GE na hindi kami kasali. Pwede bang wag na kayo kaming sumali? Pero sabi niya, parang hindi yan tatakbo pag sabi, Uh, or names, sabi ni Betsy, wala ako compre exam. Pwede ba ikaw mag, mag ano na, taong abala? Sabi, kailan ako naging taong abala? Pag ako yung nagtaong abala, sigurado magulo yung pag-aabala na yan. Di ba? Uh, sabi niya, ta taong abala. Oh, sige, punta ako taong abala. Kasi ano pag gagawin ko? May committee naman. Kasi titingin sila sa entity si pag major problem na hindi nila masagot. Ano na ano natin? Then I realize ko, sabi ko nung Pasko, We may be small, we are facing a lot of problems, but with our costume, we can be, we can be superheroes in our own levels. We can work, we can superhero, and this institution can be a super headquarters of what you call that? Justice League. Magandang umaga at maraming salamat sa inyong lahat.